Well, g'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the new VD10 disc lock from Kranz. So if you're looking to upgrade your motorcycle security, stay tuned. Well, thanks for sticking around, guys. Now, I know what you're thinking. What makes the VD10 any different from all the other disc locks that are already on the market? Well, for a start, this is a full stainless steel construction. The 10 in VD10 stands for a 10, a 10 millimeter locking pin. Um, so you can guarantee that it's pretty solid. The other thing that the guys at Kranz have done is they've launched an app that allows you to control all the settings for the disc lock. Now you might be thinking settings, what, what settings could you have on a disc lock? Well actually this disc lock comes with an alarm. It's a 120 decibel alarm. So what it does, if, if anybody starts to tamper with the lock or move the bike, it'll give off a little warning blip and then it will go into full alarm activation mode. So that's going to give off an ear piercing 120 decibels. Now we all know that when car alarms and bike alarms go off nobody comes running. Those days are over but what it does do is draw a lot of attention to anybody that might be messing around with your bike. Okay so let's take a closer look at the packaging. It comes really well packaged from the factory. They include a a battery, a long life battery, there's some instructions, there's a QR code so you can download instructions online or straight to your phone and they include three keys which are unique to each individual disc lock. Now you might say it's probably made in China, well I think it actually is but being manufactured in China is not the issue, it's the quality control and you can guarantee that with this full stainless construction the quality on this is really really good. A lot of these disc locks are made out of cast and you can get a lever into them and break them open. I've even seen screws being forced into there with a, with a ratchet spanner or wrench which will then crack the casing. So this is really well manufactured. Okay so let's have a look in the box and see what you get for your money shall we. So let's take a look at the contents of the box. Obviously you get your disc lock mechanism, quite a weighty stainless steel chunk and you get three keys which are coded to your lock. They don't fit anybody else's lock. Now what the guys at Kranz do is they include a tag, I won't show you the other side, which has a unique identifier number. So if you lose any of your keys you can get in touch with Kranz and get replacements. The other thing they include is a 2.5 millimeter Allen key and the reason for that is they don't pre-install the battery that comes supplied with the unit. You'll need to take the cover off, install the battery and then reinstall the cover before you can use the disc lock. One final thing that I've opted to do is I bought the optional lanyard. Uh, again for obvious reasons because if you don't buy this chances are you'll come back to your bike start the bike up and try and ride off with the disc lock on the front wheel. 
Okay guys, so I've installed the battery into the lock and you do that by um, removing this cover here. I was quite surprised actually, I expected that to be plastic but it's actually a, a powder coated steel, it's quite heavy duty. Um, and then you just reinstall the Allen bolt. Now as I said earlier, you can um, control the settings via an app on your phone. I haven't bothered to download it yet, you don't actually need that to operate the disc lock. Next thing I'm going to do is I've got the keys and I'm going to slide it onto the disc, um, the brake disc there and see if I can get the alarm to go off. Okay, so to fit the disc lock onto your brake disc, all you do, obviously you're going to need the keys. Drop the keys in there, turn the keys to withdraw the bolt. As I said, that's a stainless steel 10 millimeter bolt. And then what you do is drop that onto the disc and you should get one beep. Wait for it, there you go. Okay, and then once you've got that beep, you pull it off the disc and you slide it back in twice. So once, twice, okay. Lock the disc lock, turn the key, obviously. And then we should get another beep. There we go. Now that's armed. So, <laughs> If I start to rattle around or play with this, we should get a little warning, uh, a little warning beep. And then if we continue, it will go to full 120 decibel. Okay, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. So there's my warning. Here it goes. Wow, that's, that's pretty loud. Okay, I'm gonna disarm it and we'll uh, maybe do a summary. Stay tuned. Well, there you go, guys. That's the V10 disc lock from Kranz. I'm not gonna go through the entire setup process because Kranz have got a bunch of tutorials on their YouTube channel. Maybe head over there and check it out. So that's all from me today, guys. I hope you've liked the video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, so a like and subscribe and keep in touch for the next one. As always from me, ride safe and have a great day.